Hello, I'm Dimyake Mwakalielie. Vincent Makori is off today. The Democratic Republic of Congo will hold presidential and parliamentary elections next Monday. Angola has provided the DRC with helicopters to help distribute ballots as opposition candidates do their final campaigning in an effort to unseat incumbent President Joseph Kabila. VOA's Carolyn Turner has more. With presidential and parliamentary elections in the Democratic Republic of Congo scheduled for next week, there is a rush to get voting material to polling stations. Angola is providing air support to Congo's Electoral Commission, or CENI. Ten helicopters have been deployed. Logistical problems and spiraling costs are leading to fears about the country's readiness for the polls. CENI official Matthew Mapita says elections will go ahead as planned on November 28. With the support of the Angolan government, we are now certain that we will be able to distribute the last voting materials to various voting bureaus, which are in isolated areas. Campaigning has been increasingly violent and there are fears of civil unrest. International electoral observers, including the European Union and the United Nations, expressed concern about violence. Foreign ambassadors and the UN reiterated their support in facilitating a smooth election and keeping the polls on schedule. We are working towards supporting the work that CINI is doing and to ensure that the elections are conducted in a free and fair environment so that the elections can take place on November 28th as scheduled. Eleven candidates are vying for the presidency and more than 18,000 are running for parliament. Incumbent President Joseph Kabila is a favorite to be re-elected despite stiff opposition from veteran politician Etienne Sushikirdi and a former ally Vital Kamere. We will not ask Joseph Kabila for his opinion about him leaving power. He has failed. What he didn't achieve in 10 years, he will not achieve in five years. They are 70 million Congolese. I have given the guarantee to Joseph Kabila that nothing will happen to him if he leaves office quietly. Final results of the vote will be compiled on December 5th and published on December 6th. Carolyn Turner, VOA News.